screaming fan at the concert looks like. The one that ruins the footage of the concert because they are screaming so loud at the person next to them recording. Well, you are looking at one of them. I am a proud member of fandom. A fandom uh, is just a group of fans with a little dust of excitement, enthusiasm, addiction, dedication, or even obsession sprinkled on top. And there are millions of fandoms in the world surrounding books, book characters, TV stars, uh, TV shows, and those are mentioned here are just the tip of the iceberg. Almost four years ago, I <laughs> fell into my rabbit hole and joined a fandom named Hertz Family. We are a fandom for a wonderful duo called Hertz, consisting of Adam Anderson and Theo Hitchcraft. And even though the music is a wonderful thing in itself, being a part of a fandom opens a whole new world. During my stay in, in, the, in a fandom, I talked with many different people from various cultures and different parts of the world and uh, uh, encountered with so many different opinions broadened my mind and uh, expanded my horizons and made me see many things differently. And uh, being a part of the fandom gave me a chance to get to know a lot of people, uh, make new friends and no one should say that a friendship when you haven't met the person in real life can't be real, because sometimes only words are enough to hurt people, so maybe only words are enough to maintain a strong, healthy friendship. Uh, you can find loving, caring, sweet people out there. For example, last year a girl spent hours uh, trying to help me win tickets to see Hertz, without asking anything in return. And uh, when you join a fandom, you realize that there are no time zones in fandoms. You can spend 12 hours chatting with someone online until the sun rises and not get bored. Or you text someone like they are living in the same city, forgetting that there are 9 hours difference between you two and they are actually going to sleep when you're waking up. And uh, sometimes it gets on your nerves that you can't be with the person when you or they need a hug or to celebrate something with them. But we keep on believing that one day we will meet and if you actually meet someone, it's awkward and wonderful at the same time because you feel like you know the person, even though you are just seeing them for the first time. And in fandoms you find so many people who understand your passion or addiction for that matters and don't think you're crazy. Furthermore, fandoms can uh, show how many wonderful and talented people there are. People who taught themselves how to draw, write, edit, and you can search online for thousands of fan fictions, fan edits, or uh, fan art, and see how many wonderful things people create. And when you put your own work uh, in a fandom, and you get the encouragement back, or constructive criticism, it helps you improve and uh, uh, continue to do what you love doing. And, um, however, in no way I'm implying that fandoms are perfect and hate-free zones, because just as we celebrate, get happy, excited together, we also argue, name-call, get frustrated and annoyed, and, um, but you find so many different people uh, out there in the world, and uh, fandoms are no different. Uh, but now, uh, I consider myself having two families, the one I was born in and the one I found myself. And as Stitch from Lilo and Stitch said, this is my family. I found it all on my own. It's small and broken, but still good. Yeah, it's still good. And I am proud of my family because I know Hurts are proud of us too.